up everyone, I'm Joa Lenoble for GRM Daily and this is your weekly news. The beef between Dizzy Rascal and Wiley continues. They used to be in Roll Deep together, but on Sunday they went back and forth on Twitter after Wiley mocked claims that Dizzy was the godfather of Grime. The two went back and forth trading a series of blows, which included Dizzy saying that he was making Grime when Wiley was on top of the pops with Pay As You Go. Wiley saying that if it wasn't for him, Dizzy wouldn't have his career. Then Dizzy going on to say, Wiley, I know you think all this trolling is funny, but one day you're gonna push me to too far and I'm going to kill you. I hope you all keep laughing. I'm hoping this means lyrically and that may be just how Wiley took it because he did not hesitate to drop a quick diss on his Instagram. We'll keep you guys updated, head over to the site to see more details on exactly what was said. Stormzy just filed a trademark across Europe for his name to be used for his own clothing line. Already an Adidas ambassador, it's no surprise he may be branching out into the design field. Nothing's been confirmed yet in terms of what the range would include, but as always, we'll keep you guys updated. Also, if you haven't seen the Gang Signs and Prayer film, make sure that you watch it. It documents similar struggles Stormzy's faced throughout his life and it's beautifully shot. It's been over two years since we last had a full project from Crept and Conan, but they seem to be making up for it. They've announced a new upcoming double album titled Seven Days, Seven Nights, due to drop on the 20th of this month. It features so many of our faves, from Skepta to Stormzy and Janae Aiko to Tory Lanez, it's sure to have bangers. They're not holding back either, because since the announcement, they've released visuals for two new tracks, Whoa 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 and For Me. Head over to our site to check the videos out and pre-order the albums. Izzy Gibbs took to Twitter the other day to express some grievances, saying, I can't be asked for the scene, it's all BS, same music, same faces, you're all saying the same ish. He then went on to say, good music never dies, and once the world catches on to some of my music, it's going to be stress for some of you so-called artists. Don't co-sign me, etc., etc. when you're just gonna move famous, so many fakes. We don't know what inspired this upset, but he also mentioned new music soon, and we're looking forward to hearing it. It seems that three-time Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton has begun an unexpected but exciting new career path in music. Producer Naughty Boy revealed in an interview with The Sun that Hamilton is in fact working on music. Apparently it's good and he's even working with the one and only Frank Ocean. We don't know when we're due to hear what they're working on, but we're sure to keep you guys updated. Following up from last year's Growing Over Life LP, Wretch32 is bringing us another album called FR32. The veteran lyricist unveiled the title and cover art of the new project through a series of social media posts from various influencers in the scene before debuting a clip of a new song and the release date of October the 13th. The project has 12 tracks, including already released Banger Whistle featuring Kojak Funds and Dineo, so make sure you guys check out the teaser trailer on our website. TFL announced last week that it would not be renewing Uber's license once it expires on the 30th of September, citing that Uber's approach and conduct demonstrate a lack of corporate responsibility and that they're not fit and proper. The decision will affect over 40,000 drivers who will be out of jobs and 3.5 million customers. We've still got a bit of time though because although the license ended on the 30th, Uber can continue to operate until all their appeals are exhausted. This doesn't affect Uber Eats though. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. After teasing the album for some time now, Scraps has finally released some more info about his upcoming LP titled Different Cloth, set to drop on the 27th of this month. It's got 14 brand new tracks as well as the two previously released singles, Enemies and Not Like Me. It features the likes of Monique Laws, Nines, Mo Logo, Chip, Deneo and many more. Head over to our site to check out the cover art. New releases for the week, Sneakbo and Giggs released the visuals to their banger Active featured on the FIFA 18 soundtrack. Manchester native IMDDB hits us with new track and visuals to more. Dubs is back with another music video, this time with Tell Me Who featuring Trubs and Cage. JD Reid in this novelist for the visuals to bang out ready. The KA and GRM Rated Awards, hosted by Manny Norte alongside none other than yours truly, is on the 24th of October and you have the chance to vote for your favourites to win on the night. Make sure you head over to our site to have your say. 
That's it from me today. Make sure you check out GRM Daily for more info on all the topics I've mentioned. And also be sure to follow at GRM Daily on Instagram.